Well, now it's time to wait with Anne. There is a long day, it's safe to say. We'll have some fun today on Geek World Radio. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Geek World Radio. So on today's show, we are going to give you the top five reasons why you should be excited for Pacific Rim. Yeah, anime, this is crazy. They were doing these analytics and they showed that people were more excited about Grown Ups 2 than Pacific Rim. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with you people? A lot, I think. A lot. Yes, so... The five reasons, anime. Number five, Guillermo del Toro. He's directing this movie. He's directed Pan's Labyrinth. He directed Hellboy and Hellboy 2. He directed Blade 2 and so many other cool things because he is awesome. He's also the guy that wrote The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. He adapted that. He adapted the uh, sequels that are going to be coming out. He is amazing. He has this beautiful visual style. He's incredible at using his budget to its fullest extent. I mean, the guy is absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, they're really, he's really unmatched in the way he directs. Totally agree, anime. I think he's one of the best directors out there. I think the way he does fantasy, the way he does action, is almost completely unparalleled. Mm -hmm. He is the bomb. All right. Number four is... There are a bunch of great actors in this movie. Now, they didn't go ahead and try to trick you into, like, seeing this movie because it's Tom Cruise or it's Angelina Jolie or Will Smith, you know, fighting. I mean, if this movie starred Will Smith, it would be a giant robot that looked like Will Smith anime. You know it would. Mecca Will Smith. You never know. That might happen. But maybe that'll be the sequel. Either way, they got Charlie Hunnam from Sons of Anarchy, Idris Elba from, gosh, I don't know, Thor and, like, everything else. He's Luther, guys, okay? You got Charlie Day from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You got Ron Perlman from everything, including Hellboy and (laughs) Sons of Anarchy. True. I mean, it just goes on and on. There's some really, really good actors in this movie. And I think that's really great that, you know, they didn't choose people that they have to go and, like, adjust the script to because they have huge egos. Mm -hmm. This is a movie all about good actors that you might not necessarily be totally familiar with, but that won't overshadow what's important about this movie, which is giant robots punching monsters. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be wondering, when is that guy that I know from all those other things going to be doing that thing he does in all those movies? When am I going to see Tom Cruise running? Exactly. When am I going to see Brad Pitt eating? You know, those things that they always do. The other thing is, like you said, it's up against Grown Ups 2. Yeah. Grown Ups 2 is the exact opposite. They use the star power to try and trick you into going. They go, hey, it doesn't matter if we have a story or not. We've got Chris Rock. We've got Kevin James. Yeah. We've got this guy. We've got that guy. Look at these guys. You don't care if there's a story. You just want to see them. It's like the Avengers of guys who were funny 15 years ago. It's totally awesome. Yeah, that should be Pacific Rim. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So what's next, anime? Okay, number three. This is an original story. Now, some of you might be going, well, yeah, but Godzilla had giant monsters, and, and, like, animes have giant guys in mech suits and and big robots and things like that. Yeah, okay, fine. But this is the first time that they've really brought to the big screen these two things together fighting each other in this way. This is not something that is a remake. It is not an adaptation. It's not... a reboot. It's not a sequel. This is something new. It's a new story that is a play on themes from the past. Totally anime. And it looks awesome. And the fact is that all of us, all of us, you know you've done it. We complain about how everything is a reboot. Everything is a remake. Things aren't original. Well, if we're not supporting the things from big directors that are original, then really who are we to complain when the rest of the stuff is all rehashed stuff. It's so true, anime. It's like, man, this Andrew Garfield guy isn't working out. Let's just reboot Spider-Man again. Man, who can we cast to play Uncle Ben so we can murder him again in the first 40 minutes of the film? It's crazy. And also on top of that, anime, it's like, yeah, sure, we had like, you know, Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla back in the day, but those were like two dudes in like cheesy rubber suits. And this is like the highest end CGI you're ever going to see. It's going to be sick. Which brings us to point two. Exactly. And that is the fact that in all this time we have seen all these great movies, there's a lot of like mocap going on for the CGI, which is great. Don't get me wrong. We've seen some cool performances Absolutely. like Mark Ruffalo playing the Hulk in the Avengers. Yeah. But Guillermo del Toro didn't want that. He wanted the robots to actually act like robots. So the animation in this movie is done via traditional animation. Yeah, this way the monsters and the robots, they move like monsters and robots would be perceived to move. They don't move like humans. It's not going to look like a guy in a suit because it's not a guy in a suit and it's not mo-capped off a guy in a suit. 
Exactly. I mean, and it totally makes sense, too. It's funny because it's contrary to the way we do everything nowadays. Mm -hmm. But you know what? A machine would not move like a man. And at that, finally, the number one reason that you should be excited for Pacific Rim is it is giant monsters versus robots. Really, people, why is this not getting you thrilled? Why are you not psyched for giant monsters versus humongous mech suits? Come on! It doesn't make any sense, anime. I really don't see how any, like, how everyone doesn't want to rush out and see this movie. Yeah. I mean, people were, like, being polled for what they thought, and they thought it was, like, the Power Rangers? The Power Rangers? Are you kidding me? No, you mean those people in spandex and helmets and those cheesy people and those cheesy costumes? Are you kidding me? I know. I mean, this is exactly what a summer blockbuster is all about. It is about fun. This is like a love letter to those old monster movies. It's about like totally just letting yourself go, having fun, and watching a crazy action movie. There's a giant robot in a city fighting a giant monster in a city. Mass destruction. Mass awesomeness. Yeah. Okay? We can do it. I like to believe that if monsters showed up, we could build giant mech suits anime. Yeah, we triumph for the human spirit. Exactly. Come on. You guys not care about humanity? Seriously. Oh, man, it's sick. It's well, sick. Well, if they're going to see grown-ups too, then they may not. Of course, of course. And also on top of that, if you've seen any sort of like anime like Evangelion or Gundam, it's like how can you not be like thrilled about this movie. Yeah, I mean, we've been waiting for so long for them to adapt some of those animes, and it's like, no, they're never going to be able to do it. They'd never put in the money to do it. This shows you that not only would they put in the money, or could they put in the money, but that it can be done. That those animes, like Gundam, like Evangelion, could happen. Exactly, anime. And for all you non-geeks out there that might be watching, this is the thing, guys. You've never seen this before at this scale with this kind of money pumped in. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an event. I mm -hmm. mean, isn't that what movies are for? Yeah. It can't just be a bunch of dudes sitting around a room talking about how they're going to rip off Andy Garcia. It can't, okay? It's Or Al Pacino. It's got to be sometimes about people in giant robots fighting giant monsters in a city, okay? He takes a damn battleship and hits the monster in the face with it. I mean, really? Yeah. Really? I mean, like... How is this difficult? Yeah, yeah. Come on. You know that at least some of you, when you saw that, got up and cheered. I did. I exactly. definitely did. Exactly. Either way, guys, you should go see Pacific Rim. It's going to be amazing. If you want to listen to our radio show, we're on every week on Indie 100 and The Point. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can send us an email to geekworldradio at yahoo.com. And be sure to check out our website, geekworldradio.com. Battleship versus face. Pwn! Pwn!